Well, if you thought you noticed an increase in the number of helicopters landing at the Buffalo Airport, it is not your imagination. As our Dave McKinley explains, it has to do with Canadian snowbirds who found a creative way to beat the border closure and head to their winter homes in the southern U.S. According to numerous reports about this in Canadian media, it was the brainchild of two guys, both involved in the transportation business, who insist on one thing. It's not a loophole. It is just merely working within the laws as they currently exist. As it stands, Canadians can fly into the U.S., but there are many Canadian snowbirds who take their cars with them on their annual southern sojourns and who can't because the land borders are closed. So. On its website here, Great Lakes Helicopters is advertising flights from Hamilton to Buffalo for up to three passengers, a trip that takes 35 minutes and costs 1200 bucks. But once they land here, they'll also find their cars packed with their belongings waiting for them. The car comes in a different way. They are brought across the border on a flatbed by a trucking firm the copter company partnered with, which charges $700. They get off the chopper, get into their cars, and head off to wherever they're going. And they've had no shortage of takers. In fact, if you check the flight logs, it appears they've been pretty busy over here. This aircraft tracking site shows there were six such trips made yesterday and 18 over the weekend. According to reports, this didn't start out as a money-making venture for the guy from the copter company and the guy from the trucking firm. It turns out they both had relatives who were upset they couldn't drive to Florida like they do every year. And they were just trying to figure out a workaround for them. And now they say their phones are ringing off the hooks. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.